this castle is more than meets the eye at first glance. Introducing a groundbreaking concept in LEGO builds, a fully transforming modular castle. You can reconfigure it by twisting it in seconds, add a large courtyard inside to display your army, split it into two smaller independent castles or open it up completely to access the extensive interior. And the best part is, you can rebuild it using only the parts from one set, 10305 Lion Knight's Castle. I developed the concept with the six hinges that enable the transformation for this Minecraft mine years ago. The rail system remains consistent throughout, no matter how you twist it. This naturally applies to the castle walls and path through the castle as well. My favorite configuration is this one that looks very classic and reminds me of castles on raised base blades. If you fold the halves of the stable inward, it results in a more elongated castle. And if you open the living quarters and bring in one of the stable parts, you get a staircase shaped layout. Due to symmetry effects, there are three more configurations that can be achieved in just a few moments. But with the help of the modular joints, much more is possible. For example, you can swap the stable and living quarters, or combine the modules into two smaller castles. And if you bring the castle to a neutral position, you can slide out eight tiles on the inside. This allows you to use two 16x16 16 16 blades from your collection as a courtyard. For instance, there could be a market, or a large knight's tournament, or perhaps it's just where the queen's troops gather. The keep consists of two halves that can be separated. This allows for a completely open scenario that is very impressive. Fun fact, the castle can even be completely flipped inside out. I can't show you all the countless details in this video, but let's briefly go through the highlights of the different modules. Behind the entrance gate, there's a trapdoor for unwelcome guests. Below the stable, which has room for two horses, lies the crypt with candles and a sarcophagus containing a skeleton. Next to the well, a spiral staircase leads into the cellar vault. And in the smaller stable, there's room for the famous goat. In the first part of the keep, besides the privy and sleeping quarters, there's also a dungeon and the wizard's alchemy lab. It's just big enough to accommodate the classic dragon that can make its way out through the rock. The other half contains the elevated entrance, which can be defended with a matriculation. Above is the queen's dining room, and in the cellar, besides another dungeon, is the castle's treasury. Here you can hang the tapestry from the 10332 medieval town square. Another entrance to the castle is over the water. One reaches the dock through the gate by raft. Above are the fireplace and a study. The other half of the house contains the music room and the kitchen where the food is prepared. And in the basement, supplies are stored. Depending on how the castle is folded, different cellar walls adjoin each other. Do you go from the dock directly to the staircase? Or perhaps prefer the crypt? The decision is entirely up to you. So become the ruler of this castle and experience new adventures over and over again. All the best and see you soon on Balanced Bricks.